Hi everyone, it's Joe with Climbing Tree, and today we're going to talk about 3D modeling with Tinkercad. So Tinkercad is made by Autodesk, who makes other professional software in 3D modeling. This one is made to be really simple and approachable, because 3D modeling is, is really powerful, and you can turn your ideas into physical objects by 3D printing them. But sometimes 3D modeling can be a little bit intimidating because some of the software is complex. So Tinkercad is here to help with that. Uh, I'm just going to show you how approachable it is by showing you how to sign up and do the first couple of lessons. So you go to this upper right hand corner and click on sign up and it will ask you for your birthday and your country and you give it those things and hit next. And then it will ask you for your email and a password and you hit create account. Now when you've created an account, you'll see this screen. So in the middle we have this work plane. This is where you'll do your 3D modeling. On the right you have these shapes that you can use. And on the left you'll see these lessons. So let's go to the first, le the first part of the first lesson. Um, it says learning the moves. Let's learn to move shapes along the work plane. So let's go down here and hit next. And underneath you can see instructions. Just drag the light brown construction to the area outlined in orange. Okay, so here's the area outlined in orange. This must be the light brown construction. So I'm going to click on it and drag over to the orange area and let go. And I think I did what they said. And it says continue to the next step. Let's hit next. It says congratulations, you did it. Okay, so we finished the first lesson. That was pretty easy. And this kind of recaps what you've learned. And I'll hit done. It says lesson completed. Let's hit continue. We're going to learn about camera controls, it says. All right, camera controls. So in this lesson, you will learn to check out your designs by changing your view of the model using the view cube. OK, let's hit next. While creating designs, it helps to be able to see your design from all sides. OK, that makes sense. Let's learn how you can change your view. Can you rotate your view to see who's behind the curtain? The view cube located at the top left of Tinkercad. Let's see, where is that? Probably this thing right here. Will help you looking around. Number one, just drag anywhere in the view cube and you'll see how it changes the point of view. Okay, let's drag this guy. Whoa, okay, whoa, yeah. There's like, there is someone behind there. Number two, try pressing the top corners of the view cube until you see who's behind the curtain. Let's, uh, let's do this one. Oh, okay, who's that? That kind of looks like maybe Elvis Presley to me. Let's hit next. From time to time, it helps you to take a closer look at your design. Practice zooming in and out. If you have a mouse with a scroll wheel, use it for zooming in and out. Okay, so I'm going to scroll, and yep, it zooms in when I scroll up, and zooms out when I scroll down. So that's pretty cool. You can zoom way out, and you can zoom way in to kind of get a better view of what you're doing. Um, and it talks about how to do that with the touchpad as well. Let's go to the next step. Now you have seen how to rotate using the view cube in the Tinkercad editor. This time let's try by using only your mouse or touchpad. It says press and hold the right mouse button while moving your mouse to practice rotating your view of the design. So I'm going to hold my right mouse button down and rotate around. And yeah, that does it without even touching the view cube. We can rotate the model around. That's pretty cool. If you want to use your touchpad, it explains how to do that, and you can continue to the next step. And we're done with that second lesson. So, and it, and it recaps kind of what you see here and what we learned, and Elvis have, has left the building. So that was pretty easy, and it's, it's a pretty powerful program. It's right in the browser, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for watching. You can go to climbingtree.xyz to learn about more STEM resources that can help supplement, supplement your kids' education in STEM or your own. And also you can do more lessons on Tinkercad. I'm going to upload some more videos doing the rest of the Getting Started lessons. You can feel free to watch those. And thanks again for watching.